This shot is for all the people that wanted to see it go through some deep snow. This is after I had used a skid steer during a huge snowstorm. Just chewing through what was left over. People were doubting if this machine was going to be able to get through ice. Well, you'll see that I took the safety grates off the front. I'm pretty sure they have to ship it with safety grates just for a safety rating. But look at that, just powering into the side hill. The amount of power and force for something that's 200, over 230 pounds we're looking at here. Remarkable. Look at that. See, I set my work area to be extra wide. The bucket of my skid steer only takes on so much and I left this. And this is a great test for the Yarbo. Incredible. See, usually I'd be using some diesel in my skid steer to clean out all this snow down the driveway around the corner and instead of spending money on diesel and repairs and all that stuff because I've got my skid loader working on a different job that I do I don't always want to have to be changing the attachments so instead Yarbo not only can it snow blow all of this driveway and do work while I want to do other things, but I can also in the springtime, I'm looking forward to attaching the lawnmower to it, lawnmower attachment basically, and it'll be able to chart out my yard and do all that for me. You must wonder about the battery on this little sucker. Well, it's a lithium ion battery, one that's designed to operate in the cold. This can actually shoot snow like this for about an hour and 15, depending on the snow itself. And some people say to me, man, in my last video in the comment section, I want to see this in 12 inches of deep, heavy cement. I don't have to let my driveway get that bad. I can just keep throwing this robot out in the blizzard and in the storms and it just continues working while I'm staying in bed because it's working at night. Or I can be working in my shop doing any other job while the driveway is getting cleared for me. One of the arguments I heard was, oh well, you know, this is making you lazy. <laughs> this is making my kids lazy. No, if you're just moving snow for exercise, well then you, my friend, have different problems. This tool has actually been fantastic from what I see for other older folks that aren't able to get outside, maybe people that aren't as mobile, uh, but <laughs> look at that. That can actually shoot 40 feet of snow. It's remarkable. Uh, and of course, another day and it is snowing outside. Not a lot of wind, but it's calling for quite a bit of snow today. So you can see out here, this whole area is a work zone for it. And then I put in another work zone over here for Yarbo, then a work zone covers this section and then down there. And having one Yarbo uh, is good, but I have like a lot of square footage. But what I'll let it do today is since it's snowing, 
I get to uh, let it run autonomously today while I go to work and uh, cut up some wood and some firewood. So, perfecto. <laughs> The goats have gotten used to it, don't bother the animals at all. Look at what he built! From Lego! His own design! This one's got a nice blade on the front. Very good, son. Thank you. You are about working in the background on the huge driveway during the daytime. <laughs> dude, very... Very amazing, dude. Proud of you. <laughs> that... Legos paying attention, they can build a kit like this for everyone to play with. Dude, nice job! Thank you. So I just go forward, leave the tracks, I go backwards, flatten them out. Show me the pins on those tracks. Bring it over here. Look at what he did on the bottom for traction. Studs. Genius, kiddo. Thank you. What a beauty! Just to put this into perspective, here's one of the ice chunks that decided just to go through. Okay, it's already cleared all this off. Unfortunately, I don't have the blade for this. There is a plow for it. I've got that on the way but I had some wet snow come in and then make a thin layer of ice. But because this is studded, you can see the tracks have no problem. Look at that, it's like a freaking blizzard. No problem with the grip. <laughs> outside my window in the morning clearing the snow <laughs> good
place. We're going to go do the neighbors. through GPS and location censoring. Ready to charge. And there it is. So it gets ready to charge and then it decides to start charging. Start charging. It's gonna open up my app here. This thing is absolutely frozen. It's like an ice block right now. Hello Yarby. I'm gonna leave everything on it. I'm gonna open up my Yarbo app connect to it. My battery is charged at 100%. Going to connect to it GPS. And then I'm going to ask it to do the north side of the parking lot. So starting it now. Oh. Hey! How it goes. I'm going to get out of its way. This is the charging pad where it's been automatically charging outside. <laughs> to do a video that put this through its paces so I got it about a month ago and I did that first video and uh, I figured I wouldn't do another one for weeks until I had really used it and this is one of the most amazing consumer electronic robots that I have been able to use over the years it's it's incredibly useful <laughs> It's what I gotta do for you to show you. There we go. Eating, eating, eating. Oh, oh, it slowed it down. Oh, it's still eating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Look at this. Pure power. Oh, yeah, baby. Hi, puppy. Hi. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, here comes the ice block. <laughs> <laughs> 